Wow! <laughs> oh man! So for the first time in a long while, I actually did the gold happy dance the other day. Now, this is just a reenactment. I got out of the water, looked in the box, saw the gold behind the riffles, and I literally said, Gold! We found gold, I tell ya! It's <laughs> dancing around. We're pretty stoked. It seems that our float down the rapids in search for a better deposit and a different pay streak is starting to pay off. When packing here in the bush, I try to take as few trips as possible. So I'm pretty loaded down anywhere I can carry anything. Strap my post driver to my waist belt. Got power jet strapped to the back. It's fun seeing fish underwater. These two brown trout were swimming in front of the hole. Um, you can see how they're aligned facing into the current and fighting the current looking for food and I'm kind of doing the same thing. But instead of food, I'm looking for gold. so fast you really got to be streamlined just like a fish so the current doesn't rip you downstream so next I'm gonna drive a t-post here in the ground it's gonna serve as an anchor for the dredge but also I have a hole drilled in it I'll show you guys what that's for in just a second There we go, nice and sturdy. Now I got a hole drilled here. I'm gonna put a bolt through the post and this bolt serves as a little hook so I can zip the back of my dry suit by myself. So there you have it, I got my anchor post and my bolt so I can uh, zip up my uh, dry suit on the back. Loop it, close it all by myself. Here you can see a nice little flake of gold sitting right on top of this false bedrock clay layer. Along with all these heavies and black sands is just amazing. We're going to dredge it all up. This being a new dredge hole, I have to work around the entire perimeter of the hole, taking down layers so that I can eventually get down deeper into the hole. Now you can see I'm dredging one-handed here. It doesn't look very efficient, but that's because I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Uh, but so what I do is pluck and pick the bigger rocks or the troubling flat, long elongate rocks. I can plug up the nozzle or the hose. I try to rip those out of the way. And then I just bulldoze, suck up as much material as I can, as quickly as I can.
bottom of the first hard pack layer, we start finding lead, iron, rusty relics. Check out this wicked pickaxe we found down there as well. Along with iron, black sands, and other heavies, this is where the gold is found. Check out that beautiful little picker. I say we got heavy black sands, I mean it. Check this out. So this is the top box. We have an over, under sluice, and these riffles are just crazy loaded with black sands. I had the sluice box running as steep as it can go. Throttle is pretty high, and still the riffles aren't clearing properly. Right there we got a little piece of gold. And here we have the expanded metal section. Loaded again. We have smaller expanded up top with miner's moss. And I think we're on the gold. I see a bunch of flakes. This one right there. There's one right here. Bunch of little guys. There's a nice one. Well, we're seeing gold in every mat and every riffle of the box. We're uh, taking a look at the undercurrent right now, and uh, it's no exception. It actually looks like the undercurrent uh, ran quite a bit better than the top box, which is interesting. So you can see the riffles are nowhere near as loaded. However, they are catching the black sands. Now there's little specks all throughout here, but up here in this top, top section, man, I just see, I see dozens and dozens of flakes. There's one guy right there. Try to zoom in with the other camera. Now you guys, take a look. Well, I'm pretty darn excited. I'm gonna say we found a pastry. It's just freaking awesome. When we look in the box here, um, we got way more big magnetites. And we're getting bigger gold. There's just flakes everywhere. Everywhere, look at that. This whole carpet is just littered. There's like tiny little boogers as well. And the topmost mat has, I mean, hundreds of visible flakes. Every, every little golden piece of something in here you see is gold. Look at all this. It's loaded, gold everywhere. Look at that nugget. There's flakes just in every single crook and crevice. They're everywhere. And this top mat, you can see them better. There's a pile, there's a pile. There's a pile. Garnets. Oh, look at that guy. Garnets. There's a bunch. There's a whole mess of them right there. Holy cow, look at this. Where is it? Aha. Uh -huh. It's like 30 flakes. There's two nuggets. Beautiful. Holy cow, look at all those. <laughs> so it looks like we got in some bigger magnetite and some slightly bigger gold for us. Man, these carpets are just loaded. Two years in a row, I get on the best gold right at the end of the season. This is our uh, second to last con bucket. Running it through the gold cube here. And it's just loaded. Now this is what you want the cube to look like. So far the whole bucket has been like this. You got that flake just sitting there.
That's our final cleanup of 2019. Let's take a look in the box. Whoa! <laughs> oh man! I need two hands for this job. Whoa! Not too shabby. Freaking awesome. Remember guys, the gold doesn't care who you are. If you got determination, strength, power, persistence, and you keep after it day after day, you're gonna find it.